don't know how much time I have left, but all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember our grouping. I'm sorry, our factoring. We got to see what they first have in common, right? Take a look and see what is it they all have in common. See if we can write this as a common, um, and they have a common factor that we can factor out. And what we look at is the numbers don't have anything in common. That's a prime, that's a prime. So obviously they're not gonna have anything in common. And this has a d squared, that has a d, but that has a d. So there's not one factor, one number that divides into all of them that I can factor out. So the next thing I need to look at is, all right, um, I'm gonna wanna create this. I'm gonna use this with the box method. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a simple box. And remember I told you, this represents an area, right? Because when you can factor and write as a product of two numbers, we can, re we can represent it as an area. So I'm gonna say 4d squared up here and a positive three down here. Now, we don't know what our negative 13d is. And what we do to help us with that is to use our x that you guys have used before. Now remember our x, we need to make sure we do a times c, which is 12. 4 times 3, and then a negative 13. So a lot of you got to this point, and now we need to think what two numbers multiply to give us positive 12, but when we add them together, give us a negative 13. Right? Multiply to give us 12, add to give us negative 13. Okay? So we're writing negative 12 and negative 1. All right? Now, what those two numbers help you do is we can write them in here and for our two areas. Because think about it. If I was to add, take all the areas, remember when I showed you the area of 12 and I broke it down? Does all of this area add up to our original answer? Is this our original answer? And yeah, it is. The only thing is I split apart a negative 13D and wrote it as a negative 12D and a negative D. All right? So why do we want to make it as a box? Well, what we can do is, since we know the area is contained in our rectangle, what we can do is we can now factor out each area. We can factor out each area to find the width. <coughs> and once we found the width, we know what to, what multiplies by what to give us our answer. So first thing we look at is, let's see, what two numbers multiply to give us 4d squared? Anybody add in? Anybody? 4d squared? <coughs> what two numbers can we have multiplied by 4? Yes? Either. I was just going to say put the 4d on the top of that and we'll put a d next to it. Why are you giving me the right answer right now? It's hard for someone to give me two better. Um, we're going to revisit yours in just a second. The most common response, though, that we're going to get, thank you, Ethan, for an awesome yeah. This is the most common response we get is 2d, right, Andre? Last people, when I say, what is d, 4d squared, they say, oh, it's 2d times 2d. You're right. But here's the problem. I know 2d times 2d gives me 4d squared. But 2d times what gives me a negative d? Negative d? Yeah. I give you negative 2d, right? So we come into a problem. What we figure out, what we learn is we have a fraction here. And when we're doing factoring, we're not going to be worried about dealing with any kind of fractions. So again, I notice that, oh, this is not going to work, right? I can't use 2d and 2d. So what Ethan was so perfect in seeing was let's try to put the 4D and the D. And the reason why you want to put it up top is because if you put a 4D here, 4D times what gives you a negative D? Again, you're running into that same problem. But if I can write it here, now let's just say it out loud. We have 4D times what gives you a negative 12D? Negative three. D times what gives you a negative D? Negative one. Does a negative one times a negative three give me a positive three? Yup. So guess what I just have now? Now I have my two binomials. So 4d minus 1 times d minus 3 is now my factored solution of this. Oh my, my answer. Okay, because these two, do these two multiply to give you that? Yeah, when you check them out with FOIL, they do. They work. Okay? So 